Electricity and magnetism. These two forces might be really familiar to you. For instance, you see the magnetic force anytime you hold two magnets next to each other and they either attract or repel. Similarly, anytime you hold a compass and the needle points north, that's because Earth's magnetic field is applying a magnetic force, causing the needle to turn. You may also see the electric force in your daily life if you, for instance, touch a doorknob or another person and feel a spark of static electricity. Every object has electric charges inside, but usually those charges cancel out, so overall the object is electrically neutral. The electric force occurs when there's an imbalance of charges. So like charges repel each other and opposites attract. But what do these two forces that seem completely different from one another have in common? For a while, scientists thought that these two forces were completely separate from one another. But thanks to Albert Einstein, we now know that these two forces are intertwined due to special relativity. In the 19th century, Danish scientist Hans Christian Oersted noticed something strange. When he ran an electric current through a wire, he noticed that a nearby compass needle deviated towards the wire. Compasses move in accordance to a magnetic force, so why would an electric current going through the wire cause the compass to deviate? As it turns out, an electric current through a wire actually creates a magnetic field around that wire. But why is that? Let's look at a simple example. If we have a wire with a current running through it, we can imagine that wire as a bunch of static negative charges, each separated by a distance L, while positive charges that are also separated by a distance L are moving to the right with a velocity V. This wire is electrically neutral because it has just as many positive charges as negative charges. Now, imagine a single positive charge, also with velocity v, moving parallel to our wire. We know through observation that this charge feels a magnetic force towards the electrically neutral wire. But why is that? Surely this magnetic force can't have any connection to electricity, since the wire is electrically neutral, right? Actually, it does, through special relativity. Before I get too far into the explanation, here are some basic things you should know about special relativity. Special relativity states that an object moving extremely fast will experience space and time differently than an object at rest. More specifically, if an object is moving really, really fast, it will appear shorter to a person at rest due to a principle called length contraction. I know this seems really weird and counterintuitive, but we're talking velocities that are a significant fraction of the speed of light, so that's why you would never actually see objects getting shorter in real life due to length contraction. Going back to the wire, we can again see that the positive charges are moving while the negative charges are still. However, let's imagine what this would look like from the perspective of the charge that's moving alongside the wire. From the perspective of the moving charge, it now appears as though the positive charges in the wire are staying still, and the negative charges are moving to the left, again with a velocity v. Now that the negative charges are moving, special relativity states that they should experience length contraction and be closer together than the distance l that they were before. Similarly, from this new perspective, now that the positive charges are no longer moving, they should no longer experience length contraction and should now be further apart than the original distance L. But wait a minute. Now it appears as though there are more negative charges than positive charges. So shouldn't the wire no longer be electrically neutral? Did we do something wrong? Not at all. It turns out that from the perspective of the positive moving charge, the wire actually has a net negative charge and is no longer electrically neutral. This explains why the positive moving charge was attracted towards the negative wire. It experiences an electric attraction. But from our original perspective, we said that the wire was neutral and that the charge was pulled towards the wire due to a magnetic force. So by switching from a non-moving perspective to a moving perspective, the type of force that pulled the charge towards the wire actually changed from a magnetic attraction to an electric attraction. Crazy, right? So these two forces, electricity and magnetism, once thought by scientists to be completely isolated from one another, are actually beautifully intertwined through special relativity.